now with the GMA cover story about one of our favorites here at GMA, Oscar nominee Mark Ruffalo, the actor describing how he discovered he had a brain tumor back in 2001. He said it came to him in a dream. Ariel is back and has the details for us. Good morning again, Ariel. Good to see you again, Robin. Fresh off of his Oscar nomination, the actor rewinding back to a chilling moment in his life. It's not the first time that he's talked about this health scare, but now he's describing in vivid detail the premonition he says led to his diagnosis. That's my secret, Captain. This morning, Avengers star Mark Ruffalo opening up about a health scare, describing the brain tumor diagnosis that changed his life. Come here! No, 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 no. The 13 going on 30 actor telling the Smartless podcast that in 2001, he went to sleep with an ear infection and had an ominous dream. It was just like, you have a brain tumor. It wasn't even a voice. It was just pure knowledge. Wow. You have a brain tumor. That's insane. And you have to deal with it immediately. That's crazy. Ruffalo immediately sought medical help the next day. The nurse calls the doctor out. When she comes in and she says, you have a mass behind your left ear the size of a, a golf ball. And we don't know what it is. The now 56-year-old learned the golf ball size mass was benign, but would require surgery. The type of tumor is called a vestibular schwannoma. This is a big nerve that comes off of our brain stem and heads right towards the ear. Ruffalo withheld his diagnosis from his wife Sunrise for two weeks as she was days away from giving birth to their son. When I told Sunny about it, first she thought I was joking, and then she just burst into tears and said, I always knew you were going to die young. The Oscar nominee going under the knife to remove the mask, but upon waking up, realizing something was wrong. Completely left deaf in one ear. When I woke up, the left wow. side of my face was totally paralyzed. Ruffalo says the paralysis eventually went away a year later. Things like facial paralysis tend to come more from swelling. And once that swelling resolves, you do see improvement in facial movement. The award-winning actor still deals with some hearing loss, but still grateful for the journey, saying his priorities became very clear. And Ruffalo's Best Supporting Actor nomination for Poor Things is his fourth, bumping him into a record held by acting legends Al Pacino and Jack Nicholson. So some good company there and yes. much to look forward to. Yes. So talented, so nice yeah. as well. Yes. Thanks, Ariel.